good morning vlog welcome back to the channel today is december 17th so happy vlogmas that happy vlogmas day 17 um so today i just woke up i prayed i read some scripture i'm about to be on my way i'm about to go to church um what else i'm gonna do today i'm gonna go to church I have to find like a Starbucks or something so I can get some Wi-Fi because I need some I need to do some things um, so I'm gonna find a Starbucks get some Wi-Fi um, what else am I gonna do oh and then I'm gonna come back here after Starbucks I'm going to uh, bathe lady so lady's gonna get her bath today and I'm gonna make me some dinner. I just don't know what I'm gonna make. I gotta look in my freezer and see if I have to take something out of the freezer to like prep or something. My battery is about to die. Five, four, three. Hey guys, so my battery did die and I did take out some salmon. So I'm gonna make the salmon make some that fried rice from Trader Joe's and some Sally pancake which is right here but I'm not gonna pull it out I'm on my way out to church I am running late um, so I will see you guys more than likely after church I'm not sure if I'm gonna get any footage from church but I will see you guys definitely after church when I'm like basically trying to find like a Starbucks or somewhere where I can get some Wi-Fi uh, so I can connect to my phone all right guys later hey guys so I am fresh out of church it was beautiful church was awesome like always um, <clears throat> God moved he came his presence was there it was amazing people got their deliverance I know I did um, I got the word I got strengthened I got empowered by the word and just being in church literally just frees you of any type of unwanted spirits that are not of God I know my church does I don't know I can't speak for your churches but I just know my church does it definitely makes me feel that way when I get in there I literally and I start to pray and it's like I literally start tearing up because of the power of the Holy Spirit moving through there is just amazing and it's intense so yeah I'm fresh out of church blessed as always and um, what am I about to do I'm about to find a Starbucks now I know that Target usually has a Starbucks attached but do they have Wi-Fi I do not know that's that question so I know there's a big target on the way home from where I'm driving from. So I'm gonna stop there, but I'm not sure, like I said, if they have a Starbucks for one. Two, I don't even know if the Starbucks has Wi-Fi. But I'm gonna try it. If not, then I would just have to go to the Starbucks around my house, um, which is kinda a little bit out the way, but that's what I'm gonna have to do because I need to get to Wi-Fi. Um, because I have something important that I need to um, handle on my phone. And then after that is all said and done and is done, I will go to the fruit stand and get, not the fruit stand, you know, the farmer's market, like the, the little vegetable place and get some limes because I need that. I need limes for dinner, limes and scallions. I need limes and scallions for dinner. And then I'm going to go home and then we'll do we'll talk about what we're gonna do when I get home so right now like I said I'm gonna just go I'm gonna find I'm gonna stop at the Target but there's some traffic in front of me oh no Ugh. there is traffic in front of me so it's gonna be I mean, it's kind of moving so I don't know if it's gonna be that bad but there is traffic in front of me so when I get to Target, hopefully I can get everything done there. I will be back with you guys. I hope y'all doing okay. I hope your Sunday is blessed and just beautiful. 
I hope God is just moving and just doing what he does in your life, you know? Just doing what he does in your life. And, you know, I had this thought while I was in church. I don't mean to make this a whole rant, but when the Lord prompts and pricks me, I'm going to speak. So, <clears throat> I thought about this in church and I said, all believers, we should always have our mind focused on heaven and the kingdom. Like, with anything and everything that we're doing. It doesn't matter what it is that we're doing, right? Um, anybody who is has a calling on their life, like in, in service to the kingdom and into heaven, your focus should always be on heaven. It should always be on the kingdom. So no matter how God is getting his glory, you should be in support of that right because if it's god's getting his glory then that means that that is the spirit and the holy spirit working through that person or whatever situation for god to get the glory so i was sitting there and i'm like you know i i i have said on this channel before that i vlog because i want god to get the glory and that's in its simplicity right i want God to get the glory because I want to show you how God is moving in my life. I don't even know how he's going to move in my life, but I have faith and I have and I believe that God will show himself in my life because that's what his word says and that's who he is. And God has never changed, right? You read his word, he does he has done this throughout many of his children's lives, so I know for a fact that he would do it in mine, right? But for you, what I pray and I hope for you guys when you watch these vlogs and you continue to watch and see how God moves is that you will not turn away from any type of obstacles, any type of situations that may be hard for you to deal with, like an eviction, a loss of a child. I don't know. Whatever the case may be, um, you lose your job. Um, a business arrangement didn't go well. The contract didn't go through. Um, you get sick. You're ill. You have a diagnosis that was unpleasant. You have a, a, um, a diagnosis that basically stamps death upon your life. You know, whatever it is, I just pray that you, know, you see and you can see through this channel how God moves and then you can apply it in your life along with you reading the Bible, along with you getting God's word and, you know, you're focusing on God, you get encouragement, you get inspiration because literally that's all I am dependent on right now is God. No one else. I don't depend on anybody else. I don't depend on my mom. I don't depend on my father. I don't depend on my friends. I don't depend on anybody but God right now. And that's exactly the way he wants it. Is my dependence to be on him and in him. And that's it. So I read his word. I get strengthened. I go to church. Even when I don't even have the gas to go, I still go. You know, and he makes a way for me. And that's what I pray that you see so you can apply it to your life. So whatever it is, challenges or anything that comes up, you may not be dealing with anything right now. But maybe in the future you will because we cannot escape it, right? We can't escape it. We will have struggles. So whenever you see or you're faced with something, you can, you know, reflect or use what it is that I'm going through to be like, you know what? If he did it for her, he can do it for me. And if he did this for her, he can do more for me. Okay? So I just pray that when I upload these videos and y'all watch these videos, it can be a testament to who God is and how faithful he is with his children. So that's it. I'm not going to ramble. I just want it to be a little quick, sweet, uh, um, a little quick, small, sweet talk so that, you know, I can just get that point across. And I hope it's received well by you guys. Um, yeah. So whoever supports me, I really appreciate y'all. And just know that I'm going to continue to put out content and everything that I do will will be for the kingdom and my focus is on heaven so it's for the believers and the non-believers 
if any if these videos bring people who are non-believers if this video pricks anybody who's a, a atheist or whomever who's who's lukewarm who's you know in the world doing whatever and they all of a sudden god is you know calling them and bringing them into a hard situation they come across this video it's for you it's for whomever watches and gets a revelation and continues to walk with god that is the point that is the point of these laws to continue to walk with god to continue to establish a relationship with god to strengthen yourself in god and ultimately to be let into heaven the kingdom and to ultimately help and serve in the kingdom point blank so anyway i will see y'all at target later hey guys so i'm in target i am using their wi-fi because that's what i told you i was coming in here to do i got a shopping cart like i'm shopping i'm not shopping i'm literally just using their wi-fi because i need to catch up with whom i need to catch up with and do the things i need to catch do the things i need to do so that's why i'm in here and yeah that's what i'm doing so when i'm done i'll be going home like i said and finishing what i need to do so i am here in target i'm here i've made it Okay. guys I am pretty much done in here I am about to go home so I will see you guys home business is done I talked to my friends actually she's still on the phone say hi hi mm -hmm. and then yeah I'm about to go home cuz yeah I don't need to be here no more later right, guys so I'm home and I am basically getting ladies bath together because she needs a bath like the girls thinks. I'm filling up some water well I did fill up some warm water in the tub right here oh yeah I can't even see my bad some warm water in the tub I have some apple cider vinegar right here because um lady has skin issues and if you're ever getting a french bulldog just know that they have skin issues so I usually soak her not really soak her sometimes if it's like in the in the the warm weather months i will soak her but because it's in the winter her skin is not really like going crazy right now but in the warm weather months i would kind of like soak her in the tub with the apple cider vinegar because it the apple cider vinegar soothes it but you have to use the apple cider vinegar with the mother and i have burt bees um itch soothing shampoo because ladies always itching like i said french bulldogs always have a problem with their skin and i also mix it with oatmeal shampoo so i'm about to go get her she's in the cage because she she did something bad she's always doing something and um yeah i'm gonna go to wash her so be right back okay so i got the doggy i got her out to her cage She's sitting in her bed she knows she about to get in the bath because i took off her collar and usually when i take off her collar she's about to get in the bath come on lady let's go oh come on lady does not like baths like at all i don't even know if i said that but lady cannot stand baths she can't stand them so i try to do this fast so it's 
not like torture for her because she doesn't like them. Lady does not like baths at all. Right, mama? I don't like them. Come. Stand here. Stand here. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Put your face down. Good girl, mama. She can't stand it. She's always running. Stand up. Come on, stand up. Good girl. Gotta get the poom. The poom. The poom needs to be cleaned. Okay. Wait. Blah. Come here. Pull up. Pull up, good girl. Good girl. Get in between the paws. Yeah. Back leg. Back paw. Good girl. Yeah. Yeah, mama. Yeah, look at that. Oh my goodness, it feels so good. It feels so good. Yeah. So good. Look at your toes. Not your toes, your paws. Okay, we're almost done. We're almost done. Wait, stay. Come on. Yay! Sit down. Sit, 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 sit. No. Come. Right here. Sit. Sit, mama. Sit. Good girl. Good girl.
All right, go ahead. Go. Good. Get out the garbage. You okay? Feel fresh and still clean? Yeah? All right, it's my turn. I'm gonna get in the shower. Okay, so, where are y'all? All right, now it's my turn. I'm gonna wash out this tub and myself is going to get in there. And then I'm gonna fix my dinner and then I'm gonna relax for the rest of the night. So I will see y'all after I get out the shower and when I'm cooking some dinner. All right, y'all. Hi guys. So I am out the shower. I'm just about to put my, my raggedy, look at my raggedy booties. And you know what? I love them. I love these things. I'm gonna keep wearing them until I feel the cold of the floor on my toes. So right now, I don't feel the cold of the, the floor on my toes. So I'm gonna keep on wearing them. <sighs> I love them. Yeah, so. Um, what am I about to do? What am I about to do? Turn this light off. Turn this light off. And then keep that on because I'm coming right back up here to chill out. And I'm going downstairs to the kitchen. I'm about to cook. Oh, I forgot. I gotta set Lady up again. All right, give me a second. I gotta set ladies' uh, food and water up again because I just got, when I first came home, I started mopping and stuff because it needed a mop and a sweep and a mop in here. So everything is like cleared out, as you can see. This is usually lady stuff, but I've moved everything in my mops. It smells like fresh bleach in here. So I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so. I'm done with the dog. I'm bathed. Now it's time to eat. So, I seasoned the salmon. Salmon is seasoned. I just gotta make the sauce. So I'm making salmon, fried rice, and um, scallion pancakes, so. And the salmon. Um, I, I'm thirsty. I'm gonna try this drink that I got from Trader Joe's. Sparkling green tea pineapple juice. I'm not a big pineapple juice person, but we'll see. It has green tea, I like green tea. Okay, it's very, it has no sugar. It's like two grams of sugar in here. It's cool. It ain't, it's not, it's nothing to write home about. So I'm gonna put the fried rice on, get that cooked, and then I'm gonna put the salmon on the stove. And then when the salmon goes in the oven, I'm gonna do the scallion pancakes, cause that's the last thing. But first I need to make the sauce for my salmon, which is I'm doing like an Asian because I'm doing fried rice. So I'm gonna do like an Asian sauce, which consists of soy sauce, honey, lime juice, 
of soy sauce, honey, lime juice, garlic, and I think that's it. So let me get the ingredients for the soy sauce. I just realized that I don't have that much soy sauce, so I'm gonna have to figure this out. I only have literally this corner. I don't know if y'all can really see it, but it's literally like a corner of soy sauce. Like, what? So I'm gonna make, I'm gonna be making, <clears throat> okay, that's not working. <sighs> this is all the soy sauce I have. I'm gonna show y'all. Wild! I can't believe it. <sighs> Whatever. This is it. That's all I have. Now, I do have some of Maggie seasoning, which is basically almost like a soy sauce. We're gonna have to do what it do. with this. And then, cause there's not even that much of this, so I'm gonna have to use the whole thing of this. Okay. That's that. And then I'm gonna put some oyster sauce. Some rice cooking wine. Some honey. Why is everything like stuck right now? Like, come on now. Let's get it together. Okay, some honey. And then some brown sugar. So I just put a lot of salty, and now I'm putting sweet. And then we're gonna come in with the lime juice, with the acidity, to kind of break up that salty sweet. We're gonna come in with the lime juice on it. So when you're using one of these, you're not supposed to put the the lime or the lemon with the shape of you're not supposed to do this it's supposed to be like this you're literally supposed to put the cut part of the lime in like this and then push it I see a lot of people doing it the opposite way and I was one of them but then I saw somebody on I think a YouTube I was watching and they corrected me I learned and I said oh it's this way so the holes and everything is supposed to allow the lime or the lemon juice to flow and while it's catching the seeds so that's how that works you see so i'm going to taste this first I'm gonna mix all of this stuff up and I'll be right back with you. Okay, so I have the salmon in the pan because I'm trying to get the skin crispy. The fried rice is basically done. That's on low. I have the sauce right here, but I'm gonna put some garlic in it. And right now I'm just kinda smashing up the garlic so that I could put it in the sauce um, for the salmon. I'm also trying to use the sauce as well for the scallion pancakes like to actually dip the scallion pancakes in so hopefully there's enough okay so 
I have the sauce here. I'm just going to pour. I poured the oil off. I'm just going to pour some. Yep. On the salmon. What I did also is I added some cornstarch in there so it can like, kind of like thicken up. That's exactly what you're starting to see. You see the thickness of the sauce? I put the cornstarch on there. So it's thickening up. This is exactly what I want. Pour more. Loosen that up. I'm gonna leave the rest for a little later. And then I'm gonna put it in the oven and finish cooking the salmon in the oven on broil. Okay, then it's ready. This is my plate. I got some fried rice, some salmon, and some scallion pancakes. I'm about to eat. This is my first meal of the day, and it's, I don't even know what time it is. It's 8.45 p.m. This is my first meal of the day, and I'm about to eat this. Yum, yum. So, I'm going to end the vlog right here. Hot. Have a beautiful night, morning, day, whenever you see this. In the name of Jesus. Be blessed. Stay blessed. Bye. Oh, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And stop right here and push the subscribe button. See y'all later. Bye.